Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 9 students. Sa video na ito ay itutuloy natin ang tungkol sa pag-solve ng rational exponents number 6 to 10. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung numbers 1 to 5, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin para mapanood ninyo yon. Okay? Disclaimer lang mga anak, pinapalitan ko yung mga ibang given upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung mga nasa modules ninyo. Kasi mas magandang matuto kayo kapag kayo mismo ang nagsusolve. Okay, so intindihin ninyong mabuti at pag-aralan ninyong mabuti, sundin nyo lang yung mga steps na gagawin ko. Number 6, we have 16c raised to 9, d raised to 3, all over 2 raised to 6 to the power of 1 third. So meron tayong power of a quotient. Ibig sabihin, imumultiply lang natin yung power sa power. Unahin natin yung 16, since 1 ang power nyan, so ilagay lang natin yung 1 third. Times C, 9 times 1 equals 9, di ba? Over 3. Then yung D naman, 3 times 1 equals 3, over 3. All over 2, 6 times 1 naman is 6, over 3. Remember na kapag whole number ang i-multiply ninyo sa fraction, just multiply the numerator and copy the denominator lang. Okay? Then, we will have 16 raised to 1 third. Then, C, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Then, D, 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Over 2, 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Okay? So, ngayon, meron tayong 16 raised to 1 third, C raised to 3, D over 2 raised to 2. Pero, meron tayong rational exponent dito. So, paano natin siya isi-simplify? Gawin lang natin itong rational expression. So, ba ang katumbas, ilagay ko na dito ha. Ang katumbas ng 16 ay 2 raised to 4. Kasi 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 16. So, gawin natin 2 to raised to 4 yan. Then, kopyahin natin yung exponent na 1 third times C raised to 3 D over, kopyahin lang yung 2 raised to 2. Then, meron na tayong power to power ulit, ba? So, i-multiply natin yung exponent. That is 2 raised to 4 times 1 equals 4 over 3. Then, C raised to 3 D over 2 raised to 2. Kung makikita ninyo, meron tayong parehong base dito. Yung 2 at saka 2, pareho sila. Ang gagawin natin, isusubtract natin yung kanilang mga exponent. So, we will have 4 over 3 minus 2. Yung exponent lang ha. O, ngayon, pag nagsusubtract tayo ng fraction to whole number, lagyan natin to ng denominator na 1 kasi 2 over 1 is equal to 2 pa rin. Get the LCD, that is 3. Then 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Times 4 equals 4. Minus 3 divided by 1 equals 3. Times 2 equals 6. Simplify natin. 4 minus 6, that would be equal to negative 2 over 3. Meaning to say, Yung 2, magiging ang exponent niya is negative 2 over 3. Then, kopyahin natin yung C, 3 raised to 3, D. Ngayon, bawal ang negative kapag simplified form. So, kapag meron tayong negative exponent, ibababa natin, magiging positive yung exponent niya. So, magiging 2 raised to positive 2 over 3. Then, yung C to 3, mag-i-stay dito sa numerator, pati rin yung D kasi positive naman yung exponent nila. Ngayon, yung denominator ay may rational exponent. 
So, isimplify natin yan magiging C raised to 3 G over yung denominator magiging index natin. That is 3. Radical sign, kopyahin yung 2 to the power of numerator na 2. So, the final answer is C cube D all over cube root of 2 to the power of 2. Or pwede rin namang nasa loob yung 2. 2 raised to 2. Ganun lang yun. Alright? Next na tayo mga anak. We have x raised to 12, y raised to 9 to the power of 2 thirds. So, madali lang to kasi dalawa lang at hindi fraction. Ang gagawin lang naman natin, i-multiply natin yung mga exponent or yung mga power nila. So, 12 times 2 equals 24, di ba? Over 3. Then, kopyahin yung y to the power of 9 times 2 naman equals 18 over 3. Then, simplify. We will have x, 24 divided by 3 equals 8. Then, y, raised to 18 divided by 3 naman equals 6. So, this is now the final answer. Kasi wala namang negative na exponent. Yan na yung answer niya. Number 8, we have 3a squared raised to the power of 1 half times 3a squared raised to the power of 1 third. So, ang gagawin natin, power to power, meaning magiging 3 raised to 1 half, then a, 2 times 1 equals 2 over 2, times 3 naman, raised to 1 over 3, times a, 2 times 1 equals 2 over 3. Next, i-multiply natin yung mga magkapareho ng base. So, yung 3 raised to 1 half, i-multiply natin dito sa 3 raised to 1 third. Nasundan ninyo? And then, yung a naman ang base, i-multiply din natin. a raised to 2 over 2 times a raised to 2 over 3. O yan. Ano ulit yung rule natin kapag pareho yung base at multiplication? I-add lang natin yung kanilang exponent. So, magiging 3 raised to 1 half plus 1 third times yung a naman 2 over 2 plus 2 over 3. Ihiwalay ko, ilagay ko dito yung solution. So, we have 1 half plus 1 third kapag magkaiba sila ng denominator, get the LCD. Ang LCD ng 2 at 3, that is 6. 6 divided by 2 equals 3 times 1 equals 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2 times 1 equals 2. So, we have 5 over 6. So, yung exponent na nito ay 3 raised to 5 over 6 na. And then, ito naman, 2 over 2 plus 2 over 3. Same lang din yung LCD, that is 6. 6 divided by 2 equals 3 times 2 equals 6 plus 6 divided by 3 equals 2 times 2 equals 4. And then, we will have 6 plus 4 equals 10 over 6. Ano ang LCD ng 10 over 6? That is 5 over 3. Kasi 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Ito, ang exponent niya is 5 over 3. O, yan na yung final answer. Pero, kapag i-express naman natin siya sa radical expression, yung 6 magiging index. Maglagay ng radical sign, then 3, raise 2 yung numerator natin na 5. So, yan yung radical expression niya. Ito naman, yung denominator, yun yung index, cube root of a raised to the power of 5. So, this is now the final answer. 6 root of 3 raised to 5 times cube root of a raised to 5. Hindi na natin yan pwedeng isimplify kasi magkaiba sila ng index. This is now the final answer. Alright? Second to the last na tayo, malapit na tayong matapos. Meron tayong x raised to 15 to the power of 1 fifth, then multiplied by x raised to 6 to the power of 1 half. I-multiply natin to power to power, so we will have x raised, raised to 15 times 1 equals 15 over 5. Then ito naman, x 6 times 1 equals 6 over 2. Okay, simplify. We will have x, 15 divided by 5 equals 3, times 
x, 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Anong napapansin ninyo? Meron tayong the same base. Kapag the same base, ang gagawin natin, i-add lang natin yung kanilang mga exponent. So, magiging x, 3, plus 3. Final answer is x raised to 3 plus 3 equals 6. So, this is now the final answer. x raised to the power of 6. Last na tayo. Number 10, we have quantity of 3q raised to the power of 5 over 2, r raised to the power of 1 fourth, all over 6 raised to 1 half, raised to the power of 2. So, power of a quotient ulit tayo. Distribute natin yung power in each term or in each expression. So, we will have 3 raised to 2. And then, we have Q 5 over 2 times 2. That is 5 times 2 equals 10 over 2. Then, we have R 1 times 2 equals 2 over 4. Masundan ninyo? Basta pag whole number at saka fraction, ang imumultiply nyo lang ay yung numerator lang. Then, kopyahin yung denominator. Pero kapag fraction to fraction, numerator times numerator, denominator to denominator. All over 6, 1 times 2 equals 2 over 2. Asundan ninyo? So, we have 3 raised to 3 equals 9. Then, Q... Raise to 10 divided by 2 equals 5 times R. 2 over 4 equals 1 half. Over 9 ito ha. 6 raised to the power of 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Then, simplify natin yung mayroong rational exponent. Magiging 9 Q raised to 5. Yung 2 magiging... Index, radical sign, kopyahin yung base na R, raised to the power of 1, all over 6. Simplify natin, magiging 9, Q, raised to 5, square root of R na lang. Kasi yung 2, understood na, square root na yan. All over 6. So, the final answer is, Q ito ha, hindi 8. 9, Q, raised to 5, square root of R, all over 6. Okay na mga anak, nakatulong ba ito sa inyo? Kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung susunod na learning task, i-click na lang sa end screen natin or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!